What is up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of some products from this brand called Steady. They reached out to me and asked if I wanted to review some products, specifically some nippers. And to be honest, I've been through a decent amount of nippers. So I told them, hey, if you think they can actually compete with other nippers such as Dispays or God Hands, then sure, send them over and I'll check them out. And they did. So without further ado, let's check them out. One kind of cool thing is they came from Sesame Street. Knife. So if I remember correctly, they sent me two sets of nippers. One of them is sort of like an entry level and the other is a more professional grade one. All right, so as you can see here, we have the MS-100 on the right and the MS-106 on the left. I believe this MS-106 on the left is gonna be their more premium model, while this MS-100 on the right is kind of their standard. Looks like it's dual bladed. Either way, both types of nippers have their own purpose in the model building community, so we'll be able to check both of them out. Let's go ahead and check out the MS-100 first. Similar packaging to the God Hand nippers with the plastic and a slide out piece of cardboard. Inside the package we get the nippers themselves as well as this nipper cover right here. Goes on pretty snug, can't complain about that. Well, stays on pretty snug too. So let me bring it in for a little more detail. They do have this sort of DLC coating on the steel that gives it a black appearance. You can see it better here where it's black on the bottom and uncoated on the top where the blades are. This coating is definitely going to be a fingerprint magnet though, and you can probably already see it a little bit just from me touching it already. We've got a set screw and a regular spring in there. The spring itself doesn't look that fancy. The grips are pretty standard, that rubberized sort of textured feel. And if you haven't noticed already, the blades on this are actually a little long compared to what we usually see on, well, most single bladed nippers. Out of the box feel, they don't feel super smooth at least compared to God Hands or Dispays, but they are very comparable to something like Vault Can or Micromark. I feel like over time it might break in a little bit, but I mean, that might be after like 100 hours of use. I don't know how long it would take. Anyways, let's set that to the side for now and take a look at the MS-106 model. So this packaging actually has a staple to kind of help hold in place a little better during shipping. I don't have a staple remover, so I'm kind of just digging at this with my hands. There we go. All right, and in the packaging, we get the nippers themselves, of course. We get a nipper cover. It's a very soft leather compared to a bunch of other nipper covers we've seen. And we have a spare spring here. There we go. So off the bat, this definitely feels a lot smoother than the MS-100 nippers. It's not incredibly smooth, and I think it might have to do something with the spring because you can hear it just a little bit when you close it. Here, let me try to hold it up to the mic for you to see. Do you hear it? The overall finish doesn't look too bad. It is pre-oiled has a set screw with the locking nut, and it looks like we have a titanium spring in there too. As you can see, there's that rainbow spring. The interesting thing is the spare spring doesn't have that anodization. So I wonder, I would think that this might add more tension because it's a different kind of spring. Let's see if there's anything on the packaging about that. There is not anything on the packaging about that. Okay, so let's go ahead and test the nipper cover. Oh, inside the nipper cover, we do have a tool for the set screw. It fits on pretty loose, but I mean, if you're storing this properly like you should be, then you shouldn't have to worry about that at all. Let me go ahead and put the packaging away and then we can move on to some cutting tests. So for the cutting test, we're gonna use this kit I just got in the mail today. It is the 135 scale core fighter. Pretty cool pickup that I was able to get from Japan. And we'll grab a blue runner and a red runner. 
Now, before we start, I think it's important to note, once again, these were sent to me by Steady. The wonderful part about it is they have no idea what I'm gonna say during the review, so I can say either bad things or I can say good things. And that's gonna be solely dictated on the performance we see today during these tests. And as you saw, I had just opened the packaging. I've never even seen these nippers before, in person anyways. So during this test, you'll be getting a first-hand reaction from me. We'll go ahead and start with the MS100 nippers. These are the double-bladed nippers. So by nature, these type of nippers are good for mostly just cutting the parts off of the runners. They're not really precise enough to get a good flush cut on a nub directly on the part. So I will go ahead and cut some of these off the runners. So that part right there and that part. Honestly, I don't really see any issues with these. Obviously, they're not gonna be the finishing cut, so you shouldn't need to worry about stress marks that much. Pretty much the big question is, is it gonna get it off the runner without breaking the part or damaging the part? And with these two parts, it seems like that shouldn't be a problem at all. Now I'm gonna do some of these blue parts. Once again, no issues. They're perfectly ready to be cut with our single bladed nippers. So I'll put these to the side and pull out the MS-106s again. And let's go ahead with the red parts. So if you don't know, when I cut with single bladed nippers, what I like to do is cut like a slice off at a time. I find that that personally gives me the best results on a flush cut on the part. And we'll do it slowly, one slice at a time. Okay, so we finished the red parts now, and I'll throw some close-up pictures for you guys to see in better detail, but it looks like they did a pretty decent job. You can still see a little bit of stress marks around the edge of some of the nubs and in the middle of some of them as well, but overall not a bad first impression. So let's take a look at the blue parts as well. I chose red and blue specifically because stress marks show up pretty easily on these two colors. So it should be a pretty good indicator of whether or not the parts are stressing or if they're being cleanly cut. That nub is just at a weird angle and I can't fully get a flush cut on it. Same goes for this one. Yeah, those aren't good nubs to check. These nubs are slightly angled, so they might have a different finish. We'll see how well these nippers can cut them. This was not a good part to test on. Let me pick out a different part. The nubs on this one look very flat, so this should be good. Okay, so now we have the two blue parts. Some of them were a little angled, so they're hard to get a good flush cut on but the parts where the nub were perfectly on the edge. We were able to get a flush cut and looking at them up close, we do see a few more stress marks than on the red parts, but I think good enough. By good enough, I mean specifically for this budget that we're in. I know some people are gonna be asking, are these better than God hand nippers or display nippers? The short answer is no, they're not gonna be better. In my opinion, they're in a different pricing tier, which means that while they're not going to be better than Dispays or God Hands, that doesn't necessarily make them bad. Matter of fact, I don't even actually know the pricing of these, so I'm gonna pull it up on my phone right now to see the current price. Steady MS100. Okay, so these MS100 nippers are $17.90 with a 6% off coupon. So after the coupon, that would bring it to... 1683 before taxes. And I'll have a link down below for both of these nippers, that way you can quickly find them. And for the Steady MS-106s, these are $25.99. And you can get it in two days or less with Amazon Prime shipping. There's also a 6% off coupon for that. So after that, the price would be $24.43 for these nippers before tax which is not bad at all. That's cheaper than the Micromark and the Volcan. And I would say these might be just based on memory in terms of how these feel and how the Volcans and the Micromark feels. I feel like these are right on par with the Micromark and a little bit better than the Volcans. I remember not really liking the Volcans because they felt a little gritty in hand. These ones don't really feel gritty at all. They just have that weird spring feel that 
hopefully will break in as you keep using it. But come on, less than $25 for a pair of single bladed nippers, that's a pretty good deal. If you don't already have a set of single bladed nippers, I wouldn't mind recommending this to be your first pair, especially if you are trying to stay on the budget side. If you already have single bladed nippers, maybe pick these up as a backup or for a traveling kit. If you happen to like building Gunpla wire on the go, that way you don't have to worry about your more expensive nippers getting lost or damaged while you're not at home. Anyways, that about wraps up the review for today. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to Steady once again for sending these nippers out to review. I'm glad that they weren't terrible and they were actually pretty decent, especially at the price point that they're at. So please, once again, check them out down below in the description. I have links for you to buy them if you're interested or if you just want to browse the rest of their Amazon store to see what other tools they have. Also in the description are links to the Discord, my Instagram, threads, I think, because that's a new thing that people are doing now. And also my very small merch store. <laughs> Feel free to check those out on your own time. But once again, thank you for watching this video and I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. But for now, pick up a kit and start building.